Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5. Hello, everybody. Good to have you with us today. FraserNet is raising funds for a web portal to help individuals of African descent. Its chairman and CEO, George Fraser, is here to tell us more about this effort. Later on in the broadcast, we'll hear from Dr. Henry Bernard and Michelle Burnett of the Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center. They'll talk about Better Hearing and Speech Month. And on the program after that, Cynthia Buchanan and Ron Hill of the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging will tell us about a program taking place in mid-May geared specifically to the elderly. Good morning again. I'm Leon Bibb. This is Kaleidoscope. And so we begin with George Fraser, a good friend of many, many years. Good to see you, George. Good seeing you. He's chairman and CEO of a group called FraserNet Incorporated. Tell us a little bit about what FraserNet does. Uh, we are a global leadership network. We're nearly 30 years old. 51,000 top black professionals, business owners, and community leaders are in our network. And our goal is um, through economic, is to teach about economic development through education, training, and empowerment for black people. So we've been doing that, again, nearly 30 years, and we're excited about it. We'll keep on doing it until they put me in a casket. <laughs> Certainly for it. We hope that's a long way away, <laughs> that's right. and for, for black Americans to get a, a, a bigger piece of that economic pie. A bigger piece of the economic pie. But at, at this moment in time, you know, the world is changing, Leon. And, and anybody living in a garage or living in an apartment can do what most people can do. So for us in particular, we have to ramp up our game. We have to be engaged in personal growth and development, lifelong learning, and constant never-ending improvement, which means we have to go into the 21st century using new tools to really provide us the kind of learning uh, where we are at the time in which we're there. We watch a lot of television. We're on Internet a lot. We, we spend 40% more time on the Internet than any cultural group in America. We spend 40% more time watching television. So we're using these instruments, these tablets, these uh, uh, CPUs, these um, uh, laptops, these mobile phones. That's where we are. So we have to put the learning where people are. And that's really what this whole movement is so, about. So you're ramping up this new, new new venture. Tell us about this new venture. What it's going to do to help you and, and get the word out, certainly to black Americans. It, it, it's called the Connect the Dots movement. And mm -hmm. really, it is a movement to raise seed capital through crowdfunding uh, so that we can build a web portal, build a website uh, targeted to virtual learning uh, for people of African descent virtual learning. So we're going to create four new tools that through the use of the internet, through your mobile phone, through your tablet, through your CPU, or through your laptop, you can get the learning that you need to ramp up your skills, ramp up your education, to increase your business knowledge, to increase your wealth knowledge, to increase wellness. And so there are four new tools. That's what the website will look like. Yeah. Um, we'll, get a, we'll get a shot of this on camera through mm -hmm. here. D right. So w w connect the dots. It's called, you, yeah, yeah. You, you've always used, you've used that phrase as long as I've known you, connect the dots. Yeah, we, we must connecting the dots. Yeah, we, we must connect the dots. We must leverage more effectively our collective resources and intellectual capital. We must get together to get ahead. We need a lot of us doing a little instead of a few of us doing a lot. There's so much talent in our community, but not only is it dispersed, it is disconnected. And so what this does is to provide people tools that will help them connect the dots. You remember the old success guide, right? right. Well, that's this. over with, mm -hmm. right? People, pe pe people aren't mm -hmm. carrying around mm -hmm. three-pound directories. So we have a new tool on the new FraserNet.com site uh, once we build it out called uh, NetDirect and it's an online directory of black resources worldwide. A million people will be tapped in, in, into this network and you can access these people right on the website through the Connect the Dots movement. This we is also, the old, this is the old, the old guide. Now I've had one. these for years. Every year you Absolutely. come out, I'm usually it's in that's there. That's the 20th anniversary yeah, edition. I, I come and, and uh, it's kind of a who's who in in in, in Black America. In, in Black America, right? And, uh, and it provides uh, people access to these who's who, all of the talent, all the coaches, all the trainers, all the executives. Uh, so that's one tool, NetDirect. The other tool is FlashLearn, which is really just a simple tool that people can use to get bite-sized learning, three to seven minute on. Videos. What are we learning on when we connect the dots? What, are the, what is it that you want folks to profit from? What do they get when they connect the dots? Well, first of all, it's free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's no charge. There's no membership involved. What they get are the tools that they need to grow and to prosper and to take their career, to take their business, to take their life, and to take our community to the next level. Let we me, need 21st century tools, and they need to be accessed on the Internet. Let me put the website there. Connect the dots. Co connect the dots movement .net, Yes. Correct? That's, connect the dots movement yeah, That's where they can word. go 
to give a small contribution. Remember, we're raising seed capital, mm -hmm. capital to build out this website. So if you go to the connectthedotsmovement.net, you can make a contribution as little as $5, right? We're trying to raise about $10,000 to get this started, and then FraserNet will subsidize the building out of this entire site. And your overall website is FraserNet.com. The overall website, and that's what we're working on to build out, to give you us tools. You are traveling worldwide, mm -hmm. speaking to, to uh, American, black American groups, to African groups. Right. To, uh, all kinds of groups about economic empowerment. That's right. Still doing. Yeah, I do 150 speeches a year, 350,000 miles a year, have five and a half million frequent fire miles. In the last 19 months, I've been in 191 different cities around the country and around the world. And you've got so, a group of speakers who, who are all part of this. Oh, well, absolutely. Well From well the Les speakers. Browns to the Willie Jollies to the Lisa Nichols, you name them. Dr. Randall Pinkett, who won The Apprentice. Yeah. These are people who will be at the Power Networking Conference that we do in June every year. And, as you know, we started it right here in Cleveland. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful wonderful initiative. It is my life's work. It is what God has put me here to do. And I believe that each of us have been put here with a unique purpose in life, a job that God has assigned only you to do. And if you do not do it, yeah. Leon, it will not get done in the universe. <laughs> so we're thankful for you doing your job. In our final 30 seconds, mm -hmm. leave me with a thought, George. Well, I, you know, I'm going to leave you with the thought that I leave all of my audiences. And I have them repeat that it's not about me. It's about we. And that it takes teamwork to make the dream work, and that we have the timber, let us build. Let us build. You can get more information on everything we're talking about by also telephoning 691-6686. That's right. That'll get you more information. That's in the 216 area code. That number's at the bottom of the screen. George Frazier, been out there for many, many years doing what you're doing. God trying to you. raise the level of consciousness, certainly in black America, certainly in all of America. Yes. Really. Good to see you, my friend. God bless you, and thank you so much, Leon. And keep God doing God's too, work. George. Oh, we're trying, George. We're trying. <laughs> you ain't trying. You're doing oh, it. Oh, you look well, too. <laughs> Good you. friends of mine. Right. We're going to take a break right now. Thank you, George. Taking a break. I'll Appreciate be right you. Back in just a moment. Welcome back to more of Kaleidoscope. May is Better Hearing and Speech Month, and with me today are the Executive Director of the Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center, Dr. Bernard Henry, and Director of Clinical Services, Michelle Burnett. They're here to tell us about what's being planned to commemorate Better Hearing and Speech Month in Cleveland. Good to have you both with us. Thank you for having us. Things, things are well? Things They're pretty well. good, yes. You're They're doing, pretty good. You're doing well over there at the Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center, where yes. you've been for many years now. I've been there now. I'm into my 26th year as the Executive Director. Uh -huh. It's unbelievable. But we're still celebrating our new building at uh, 11635 Euclid. Uh -huh. uh, You've got to come by, Leon. Check yeah, it out. I got to come by and see. Yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous. Wonderful, well, I drive by and it's a wonderful place. I remember the old place. We yes, down <laughs> the old places. Yeah. was the old place. Yeah. Michelle, tell me about May being better hearing in speech month. Well, it's a nationally recognized uh, month dedicated to building awareness about communication disorders. Mm -hmm. um, people can have all types of communication disorders that can occur in development as children are developing. They may not develop speech and language as we expect. They may be born deaf or hard of hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, they may develop hearing loss. Um, and also, later in life, people can acquire communication disorders. So we want to make the community aware of it. It's um, most typical that people develop communication easily and readily, and that leads to good yeah. reading and good uh -huh. school success. And um, when you have problems with speech and language, you can also have problems with reading, academic success, and on into life. Yeah. So we want to take care of that yeah. early on. So in this month, we put special emphasis on, on, these, on these situations. What kind of services do you provide at the Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center? Well, we're a comprehensive community not-for-profit hearing and speech center. So the word community embedded in there is very important because not only do we provide services in our offices that are throughout Greater Cleveland, but we also provide services in Head Starts and charter schools. I mean, we are truly a, uh, a community uh -huh. hearing speech and deafness center because we serve the yeah. deaf community of Greater Cleveland, and so we have contracts with the hospitals, the courts, Doctors, I mean, we were very, yeah. very thorough. But in addition to services, we also provide a lot of professional training. So the board and I have been dedicated for many years to furthering the, the education of our 
burgeoning young professionals. We do an awful lot of advocacy. There are several laws now in Ohio that yeah. Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center had a very real part in. And then lastly, we are involved with uh, our partner Case Western in several research projects. And now we've actually been hooked into Harvard University with another oh. project around nursing. So you've got a full plate. we're all over you've the got, place. You've got a yes. full plate. Michelle, what are some of the common communication challenges uh, uh, that, that we see? Some that I mentioned, those related to hearing loss. It's mm -hmm. difficult to learn to speak if you can't hear. So we work with parents and their children to help them bridge that communication gap and help uh, parents learn how to uh, communicate with their children and help those children learn how to communicate in whatever format yeah. they might like. They might want to use sign language. They might want to learn yeah. to speak. Um, children who don't develop language skills, don't have good... Uh, oral language skills, um, either through lack of experience and exposure to things in life mm -hmm. and therefore not having vocabulary, can have challenges um, with learning to read. Uh, there's a real strong connection uh, that we know well now about um, how our brain is wired for language, yeah. oral language, but not necessarily for reading. And you have to have that solid basis of a really strong vocabulary um, and the ability to understand that sounds relate to symbols that become words, that become print on a page and right. you know that reading can really take you places. I want to ask you about some of the programs that you've got specially for mm -hmm. the month of May. I want to put a phone number on the screen first. 216-231-8787. Uh, you can get more information on everything we're, we're talking about. You can see the number at the bottom of the screen or you can go to chsc.org, chsc.org, Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center. Uh, is what CHSC means, chsc.org. What are the, some of the programs you're looking at uh, for, for certainly this month of May? Oh, and to recognize the month? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a few different things internally for our uh, clients and, and the people who use our services. Um, free screenings are going to be offered throughout mm -hmm. the month. So if anybody has a question about their hearing, um, if you're three years old or older, we can mm -hmm. screen you. Um, it pretty easily takes about 15 minutes and uh, we do it by appointment just so that people don't have to wait and um, we'll be doing some other events um, maybe we'll kind of kick off a series of events for our yes. center so um, in June we have a big wheel rally which is a fundraiser being held in Shaker Square and that is um, basically a, re a relay race where we'll be on uh, big wheels racing the streets of Shaker oh, Square, and um, anybody can uh, sign so, up their so it's team. A, it's, it's a fun event, but it's, it's also for worthwhile cause, events. getting Absolutely. drawing attention to the things we're talking about. Yes. Okay, well, we'll have fun with that one, I know. Uh, Dr. Dr. Bernard Henry, you're Executive Director of the Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center. You've been there for years, as I said, at the top of this uh, interview segment. What's your vision for the organization? Where do, where do you want to go w with this now that we are deeper into the 21st century? That's a terrific question, and our board of directors and I just completed a strategic plan that tries to answer that question. But there's a, there's a sentiment captured by many of our board that essentially says we want to make Greater Cleveland a much more receptive, friendlier, inviting community for peace of people who have communication disorders or mm -hmm. people who are dealing with deafness. Mm -hmm. And there are a few communities around the country that, that have created that opportunity, but we're looking at a much broader use of technology, so it was interesting mm -hmm. with your previous mm -hmm. speaker to yeah. listen to his yeah. things. Uh, <clears throat> technology, whether it's smartphones, tablets, computers, it's just been revolutionary for people with communication disorders. Mm -hmm. We're also looking at creating a new business model. We're always refining our business model so that we can generate the revenue. You know, I'm an administrator, yeah. so you generate the revenue to support your mission. Well, we're going to have to leave it at there for yes, the time sorry. limitations. <laughs> no, do not, do not apologize. We're just glad to have you go on Thank and you. give us your vision. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Michelle Burnett, Director of Clinical Services, and Dr. Bernard Henry, Executive Director of the Cleveland Hearing and Speech Center. Thanks for being on the broadcast. Thank you so Thank much. You. May is Better Hearing and Speech Month, and we appreciate your thought of us about that. Taking a break, this is Kaleidoscope. I'm Leon Bibb. Back in a moment. You're in touch with Kaleidoscope, and of course, glad to have you with us today. As always, Cleveland State University hosts an event featuring topics to improve the quality of life for senior citizens. The CEO of the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging, Ronald Hill, is here, and the clinical supervisor, Cynthia Buchanan, is here as well to tell us more about this big event coming up. Let's begin with you, Ron. You're the CEO of the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging. What's the overall mission of this group? Well, 
you know, there's several organizations that have come together to sponsor this annual event, and this is the 26th year that we've held this event, mm -hmm. uh, usually at Cleveland State, but it has been in some other locations. But uh, the event is named after Anna V. Brown, who was a pioneer in the field of aging. She was the first director of aging for the city of Cleveland. She was nationally known. Uh, but the event is designed to honor African-American seniors in greater Cleveland, to provide educational opportunities to impart information, knowledge that will help them uh, maintain their well-being. And that's the over, and that's the general mission too of the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging that's is correct. to help as as folks get older to help them maneuver through through life to help them in in any way. You've got a lot of programs I know. G give me kind of a thumbnail sketch of, of some of the programs, Cynthia Buchanan. Our focus uh, for the conference is aging in uncertain times. We'll have a keynote speaker, um, Dr. May Weichel from Case Western Reserve mm -hmm. University. We'll have um, three breakout sessions focusing on um, economic security for seniors, um, healthcare coordination, as well as um, increasing memory among the individuals that we service. Now this event is going to be Friday, May the 16th. Right? Yes. At Cleveland State University. My notes tell me you're going to be doing this at the Student Center, which is located at East 21st Street and Euclid Avenue in room number 311. What, what time do we begin with this program? Our registration begins at 8 o'clock promptly. Um, our first session with the keynote speaker will open at 8.30. Yeah. Does it cost to get into here, Ron? Yes, there is a, a cost, uh, which is $25. Uh, no. Uh, the uh, general population is $40, uh -huh. $20 for seniors and for students, seniors. but uh -huh. anyone over 65 can come for free. For free, if you're over, because this is what we're talking about. Absolutely. Folks who are over 65. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, the nation, Ron, is, is getting older, isn't it? Aren't we? Isn't this the graying of America? As a result of the baby boomer population aging. Because there are about 79 million baby boomers who were born, I guess, between 1946 and 1964. Or That's correct. Like that. Between now and 2030, the 60 plus population in this country is projected to double. The 85 plus, which is the portion of the senior population that consumes the most services, has the most challenges, is projected to triple. Yeah, and does that mean we're going to see more issues That's involving, going to challenge. About, involving aging? <laughs> That's going to challenge all of our institutions. Mm -hmm. So are you going to talk about some of these, some of these things, some, some of these issues at this event on Friday, May 16th at Cleveland State? I won't be personally speaking, well, I mean, but I'll be, I'll be working in the background <laughs> to make sure everything but is But somebody's going to be talking about Absolutely. this. Absolutely. You've got keynote speakers. Keynote speakers, in. yes. Why do you see this? as vital that we do this. I think it's so important for us to just continue to educate our community, um, keep individuals involved in the changing times of health care, um, economics. People need to learn how to manage their money because times are changing and we don't know what the future will hold. So it's best to have as many tools as possible available to you. As a part of this conference, we n not just draw in seniors, but we're looking to bring in the service providers, primarily social workers and nurses, who have the opportunity to earn 5.5 .5 continuing education units, which is key. Yeah. How do people register for this event? Um, they can contact Cleveland State University um, at 216-687- do you have the number? Five, five. Absolutely. Thank you. That's why um, I got my notes. I'm so glad. <laughs> and Jason and Moore will be on the other line. And once again, it's going to be Friday, May 16th at Cleveland State University at the Student Center. And that's at East 21st Street and Euclid Avenue. Start to the morning. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be in room 311. They will direct you once you get into that Student Center on Friday, May 16th. What's your vision? for where we take this organization, the Area Agency on a Aging here, Ron? Well, the Area Agency it's, itself has been around since 1973. Uh, and it's a leader in the community in terms of uh, facilitating the development of services to support over, older adults. But it's important that the Area Agency evolve and keep pace with the changing needs and, and challenging facing our uh, sen seniors in the community. Um, you know, we are involved in a number of areas and, you know, generally we're, we're pretty successful in utilizing the resources that we get from federal, state, and private sources uh, to serve and meet the needs of seniors. The bottom line is the demographics in this country are changing and it is a, the graying of America 
as, as more and more folks are living longer and longer. Many thanks, Cynthia Buchanan, clinical supervisor for the Western <laughs> Reserve Area Agency on Aging, and Ron Hill, who's the CEO of the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging. Thank you Thank so you much. For Thank us. you. They're here talking about their event, which is going to be Friday, May 16th, at Cleveland State University. I'm going to take a break. We'll be right back. This is Kaleidoscope. But first, these words, especially for you. This is the Morning Exchange segment of our broadcast kaleidoscope. That means the Urban League of Greater Cleveland always sends a representative by to talk about some event which is going on or what's on the Urban League's mind. Today, that person is your friend and mine, Samia Bray of the Urban League. Hey, Samia. Hey, Leon. How are you? I'm just fine. And you are Good. doing well, I'll bet. I am. And I have to say, on behalf of our CEO, Marsha Bakaby, hello to you again mm -hmm. and all of okay. our friends. Uh, today, we're here. I'm, I'm just amazed and appreciative of all the guests that were on today mm -hmm. and thinking about all the wonderful things and the work that they're doing and how the last time you and I spoke we spoke about equity and excellence yes. and one of the parts of equity and excellence is providing uh, training for out-of-school time providers mm -hmm. and so um, just wanted to let the community know that if they are an out-of-school program and they have things out there that they're doing anything outside of school Mm -hmm. We have training for their staff, professional development training for their staff at the Urban League as a part of our Equity and Excellence program. It's one of the things the Urban League does is keeps its, its hands out in the community, helping other organizations be, be even better in, in what they do. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. because, I mean, as we look at it, how important it is to work with our young people and get them prepared for careers. It's important to work with those who help them yeah. get there. Uh -huh. Make sure they're professionals so as well. So in our final 30 seconds or so, if they just make a phone call to the Urban League, they can get more information on all of this? Absolutely. They can get more information about our MyCom Out of School Time Training mm -hmm. by calling our number at 622-0999. That's it. In the 216 area code. In the 216 area code. Samia Bray of the Urban League bringing words of wisdom, and we appreciate that. Tell everybody at the Urban League we said hello. we Will do. That's going to do it for us. I'm Leon Bibb. Good luck, be well, and we'll talk again. public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5.